Hi everybody, Chris Mills with Chris Ellis Communications and we launched a website yesterday, Sunday, January 31st, it's now February 1st and this is just a quick um, a quick update video to point out a few of the things that we know um, now need to be done with the new website, especially since it's up and running and I want to show you how easily it can be done and this is not, I should point out, not something that we um, that we could have done prior to launch because we didn't have all of the information um, and we're not in the habit of nor is it our responsibility quite frankly to be going at this stage to be going back to your old website um, and trying to pull from it the information and prepare that information into in in some sort of format that the new website can 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 use we went through that process in in detail um, back in October of last year, right before the yearling sale, um, so we were we had populated the website with all of the content back then. So the responsibility now is for Toba to update or take over the updating process between and update the website with anything that was added to the old site, which is here. Anything that was added to this website needs now to be added to the new one. In particular, anything that was added after, say, October 31st of 2009. One of the first things that you'll notice is that this old site, and by the way, the old website can be found at tobajamaica.com forward slash backup. If you notice the old homepage was last updated on Friday, January 29th, just, just you know, a couple of days before we launched it. And it has this press release on the home page called Send Cecilia to Go All the Way, which I'm going to just select. I'm just going to, just to show you how easy it is to update the new site. I'm going to select it and I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard. I could also go to Edit, Copy. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to open a program called Notepad. I happen to have it right here in my um, Start menu but I can also go to all programs, I'm using Windows XP by the way, accessories, notepad. It opens this little editor window, very simple text editor. I'm going to paste the text in, okay, and I could have done that by going to edit paste, but what I did was I pressed Control V instead. And it's good to know the Control C versus Control V um, for copy and paste, it makes life a lot easier. easier. Um, once I've done this, I'm going to now select the text again, edit, copy. So now what I have copied is just plain text, just to explain why I did this. If you look at the old site for a second, we had the heading in red, we had links that would no longer be applicable because we're copying from an old website to a new and a new site doesn't have all of these exactly the same links. We also had things that were bold which are not um, applicable. We have, a f we have text as in Times New Roman which is not the same as what you have on a new site. So to be safe it's always advised that you use something like notepad as the intermediary. Even if you have a document, let's say you've written an article and you've done it in Word, once you're going to be putting it into the website, it's best to copy it into notepad first and then copy that into the content management system so that it re removes all unnecessary formatting and it just makes your life a lot, a lot easier. So I've done that, I've copied that to my clipboard, I'm going to go to the content management system, I've already logged in, okay, and I'm going to go to Media Room. Now, press releases on the on the on the. I should actually show you on the old on the new site. The new site doesn't have um, the press release on the home page. The old site did, right? You had it right here. It was right there available to you. The new site has that on the Media Room press releases. And if I go here, the most recent one that we added, as you can see, was October 31st. And it has, um, this is Forever Mind Scores Emphatic Victory. And this is where we're going to be adding Saint Cecilia to, um, what was the story? Saint Cecilia to go all the way. That's the release. Alright, so I'm now in press releases in the content management system. By default, let me just refresh this page here. Um, it's showing me an article here. I'm going to click on New, a press release, sorry, and I'm going to paste the information in here. Now, that's Control V. 
when you do this with Internet, Internet Explorer, which is what most people use, it will prompt you sometimes, um, are you sure you want to allow um, this web page to access your clipboard? It's an annoying prompt, which is, you know, from Microsoft's browser. But we're going to click Allow Access. Sometimes it comes up twice. It's a browser-related thing. It has nothing to do with your website. Uh, if you're using Firefox or another browser, it wouldn't prompt you like that. So here you see that it has pasted in all of the information really, really easily. But we have a couple of fields above um, the article itself or the press release itself. We have the title, we have the author, and we have the release date. The title is easily sent Cecilia to go all the way. So I'm going to just remove, copy that and paste it in here. I could have also just typed it in. The author, I don't know who the author is. I'm, I'm going to leave it blank, which you can also do as well. But it's best to really fill in as much information as you can. And the release date I know is um, January 31st. So I'm going to go into this little drop down calendar here. Not 31st, 29th. I'm going to select, select 29th. And once I've done that, it automatically populates this with January 29, 2010. There are other things I could do in here, like link to other documents, other web pages, by simply using the link icon. And I mean, you'll get the hang of these things fairly easily. You could also ins insert a photograph. If you had a photograph of uh, Rory Brown, which is who is mentioned here, you could put his picture in the article if you wanted to, easily. And that would pop up on the website as well. Um, but those are that's for future um, you know lessons. <laughs> so so once I've done this, I've added the information. I'm going to click on save. Okay, it gives me this big green checkbox check mark indicating that it has been saved. If I go back to the website, the new one that is, go back to the home page, go to media room, press releases, and here we have the new press release. So it's as easy as that to put the information on the website. Um, Two more things that you need to do, just quickly. You need to also go to the uploads section of the content management system and you need to upload the new um, statistics for 2010. Okay, On the right hand side of the page we have all the various files listed by category that are available on the website. So we have all the entries listed. We have four four pages of information here and you can go from page to page or from front to back by clicking these arrows. So I'm just going to click this, the single arrow as it's scrolling through and here I have the statistics, statistics for 2009. I have two options. I can select the 2009 statistics and you'll see it's selected by this little arrow. I can delete this if I wanted to delete the file. I could delete here or um, which is not really the preferred option because you really want to keep all of the old stats, I'm sure. Um, what we need to do is click on New, select the file type, go to Statistics here. Okay, so I'm selecting, I'm, I'm telling it I'm going to be uploading a statistics file. I can put in my title, in which case, in this case, it would be 2010 statistics. Then I click on Browse, go to my desktop, find the file that I wanted to upload and click save and that would be it it would up it, it it should be it it would update the um, statistics and you'd find the statistics on the new website by going to at the races statistics and it opens a PDF document as evidenced by these small PDF icons the last thing that you need to do um, right off the bat is you need to update the racing calendar now the racing calendar on the new website, as you can see, has nothing in it. It has a calendar itself, but there, there's nothing indicated as to when the holiday holidays are, the regular race days, etc. And to update this, very, very easy, go back to the content management system, go to uploads, go to CSV, and then scroll down, sorry, scroll down to race days. Okay. Once you've done this, you simply upload the file from again from your desktop, um, click on process file and it puts the information in there for all of your various um, race days for the year. Okay, and Paul who is responsible or was responsible for updating the old website and most likely will be responsible for the new one is familiar with the CSV files because he had been providing us during development um, 
with the CSV files that we had to use for the purpose of updating the site itself and developing a system that would read the CSV file and then populate the website. So those are some of the things that you need to do fairly quickly. Um, I will be sending you the login information for the content management system and the only thing that I need for you to, to remember is that there's no undo option. Okay, uh, If you make a mistake and delete something, um, we would have to actually go back to the backup um, to retrieve it, which is not ideal, so be careful what you're doing, please. And if you um, if you make a mistake um, in editing something, you can always go back and edit it again uh, just to correct the problem. The other thing that you should also be aware of is anything that you add to the website um, using a content management system is instantly um, updated on a website. Um, it is an instant update. Okay, so that's it for now. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to let us know. Thanks much. Bye-bye.